this info gives the information about the open sheet so here we can use all the arithmetic operations to perform basic arithmetic operators in that file tab you will get so many options called new open save save as forward slash for division of numbers and percentage also you can find hello everyone welcome back to my new session i'm shweta computer science faculty vidyashram college mysore in my last session i have discussed about the basic concepts in spreadsheet so today i will continue with the new topic so in ms word or word processing you can edit the text and you can create the new document right but in ms excel you can perform numeric calculations so you can perform all the simple to complex calculations is done by this ms excel so word processor which manipulates text and a spreadsheet manipulates numerical data and text and using a spreadsheet one can create budgets analyzing the data analyze data produce financial plans and perform various other simple and complex calculations in ms excel so today i will explain how to open a new document and existing document and how to save the document and and also i will discuss about the formulas in spreadsheet so how to open a new document in ms excel this option is used to open a new sheet so so click on the file tab so you will get so many commands in that commands you can select new or blank document and also you can use keyboard shortcut method control plus n and if you open an existing document this option is used to open an existing excel sheet if you want to open an existing document click on the file button and go to the open option and you will get so many existing documents whichever you want to open so you can open that existing document and how to save a file in excel sheet so go to the file option again and you just click on save button if you click on the save button you will get one dialog box so where you need to save the file whether it is on desktop documents c drive d drive etc first you have to select where you need to save the document then you just type the document name and click okay the next i will show this with demo and next is save as so if you want to change the existing document file name you can go for this save as button and info so again you need to select the file tab in that file tab you will get so many options called new open save save as and also information this info this option displays the information about the opened sheet this info gives the information about the open sheet next is close this option is used to close an open sheet so how to close the open sheet in excel and next is exit use this option to close the sheet and exit so if you want to close the excel sheet you can go for this exit button clear and next is ribbon so what is this ribbon ribbon contains commands organized in three components so ribbon contains the commands so here you can observe this we have tabs commands and groups in this ribbon so this is called as ribbon in this ribbon we have three groups called tabs commands and groups so what is this tabs they appear across the top of the ribbon and contain group of related commands called home insert page layout formulas data review view and help so these are the tabs which is available in ribbon and groups they organize related commands each group name appears below the group on the ribbon so below the group on the ribbon for example group of commands related to fonts or group of commands related to alignment so you can observe here 
So here we have formatting toolbar, right? It is related to fonts and alignment. For changing the font size, changing the colors and all, we can go for this formatting toolbar and as well as we can go for alignment options. So this is called as groups. And next we have commands. Commands appear within each group as mentioned above. So commands in the sense, so commands appear within each group. So if you click on this file menu, so you will get so many commands, right? So commands appear within each group. This is called as tabs, groups and commands. And next is title bar. So what is this title bar? When you save the file in your name, so it will go to the title bar. So you can observe here, book to Excel. So here I have saved my sheet, Excel sheet as book to Excel. So it will go to the title bar. So if you want to change this name, you can change. So title bar, this lies in the middle and at the top of the window. It lies in the middle and at the top of the window. So title bar shows the program and the sheet titles. Clear? Next is help. Help means if you are confused about your formulas and logic operations and creating a document, you can go for. So this help icon can be used to get Excel related to help anytime you like. So this provides nice tutorial on various subjects related to Excel. If you have any doubts related to this Excel, you can go for this help tab. Clear? And next we have what are Excel formulas? In Excel, you can perform simple calculations to complex calculations. So it will display all the numeric values, right? So for performing the calculations, we need to add the formulas in Excel. So Excel formulas help you identify relationship between values in the cells of your spreadsheet. So it displays the relationship between the values, relationship between the cells in your Excel sheet and perform mathematical calculations using those values. So you can perform mathematical calculations in Excel sheet using this formula in Excel. By having formulas that automatically recalculate either built by you the user or the built-in math functions. Either you can build the formula or it will be in built-in math functions. And spreadsheet is also be used in graphing data points, reporting data analysis and organizing and storing data. So you can perform graphs and charts in Excel spreadsheet. And what are the formulas we can use in Excel spreadsheet? Arithmetic operators to perform basic mathematical operations. So here we can use all the arithmetic operations to perform basic arithmetic operators. Example, addition, subtraction, multiplication and combine numbers or produce numeric results use the following arithmetic operators. Addition, subtraction, multiplication and we can perform division operation. Examples, plus sign. You know about this arithmetic operations, right? So if you are using this plus sign, you can find the addition. For minus, you can perform subtraction and negation. And you can use this asterisk for multiplication. Usually, we are using this for multiplication, right? But in computer, we can use this for multiplication, asterisk. And forward slash for division of numbers. And percentage also you can find. And also you can find the exponential value 3 power 2, 3 power 9, 2 power 4. Like that you can use this arithmetic operations in Excel formula. So example, if you want to find the sum of two or more numbers, you can use this syntax is equal to sum of value 1 comma value 2. What is this value 1 comma value 2? So this is your cell address value is equal to sum of value 1 is 30, value 2 is 80. So if you are adding this 30 plus 80, you will get 110, right? So after adding this formula, you just click enter and the cell will produce the total of both numbers 110. Example, so this is your formula bar. You can type the formula here. So here I have one simple data. I will use this 
syntax for finding the addition of numbers. So here quantity 5473. So here I will add this cost. First you have to check the cell address of this value. What is the cell address of this value? So D, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6. This is D6, D7 up to D10. Right? D6, D7, D8, D9, D10. Right? So here I will add is equal to sum of D6 colon D10. So if you are using this formula, you will get the total value that is 9.05. So this data in the form of dollar, so you will get it in a dollar format. So you can change it as number, percentage, etc. So this is your sum operation in Excel. So syntax is, is equal to sum of cell address from where to where you need to add. So this is your syntax for sum operation that is is equal to sum of value 1 comma value 2. So now what is the syntax for finding the division is equal to a1 slash b1. So what is this a1 and b1? This is your cell address. So here how to find the division? The cell address of this 5 is d6, right? Cell address of this 4 is d7. So I will use d6 slash d7. So you will get the division value. Clear? And so how to find the multiplication? If you want to multiply two numbers, you can use this syntax is equal to a1 asterisk b1. So a1 into b1. Clear? Here you need to write the cell address and cell address. Which number you are going to multiply that you need to mention in the syntax. So count. For counting the values, this is syntax is equal to count start cell, end cell. So here, how many values are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For counting the values is equal to count and write the cell address D6 to D7. Right? So you will get the value. Start cell and end cell you need to mention in counting the values. And how to find the average? Is equal to average start value and end value. So here I will find the value of this D6 till D10. You will get the average value. So is equal to average D6 to D10. So we will get the average value. Where it is very easy to find the formulas in Excel. So now I will show one small demo. So first you need to go to the start menu. Then here you can find Excel. Just click on the button. So open. I will open this new blank sheet. So this is your blank Excel document. If you want to open an existing document, go to the file menu and you have so many commands here. If you want to open a new document, you just click on the new button. And if you want to open an existing document, you have so many existing document. So you can use this. And if you want to save the document, you just click on the save button. So I will save it in a document. And if you want to take one print copy of this sheet, you can go for print or control P. So if you want to change your existing document name, so you can go for save as button. So here I will open a new blank document again. So now I will prepare one small data. Student names. So here. I will drag this, make it as big, mark 1, and mark 3, mark 4, and mark 5. So I am preparing 
the student marks list. So I'll prepare first student marks list. So now I will add this five marks using formula is equal to sum of, so what is the cell address of this entire marks? This is B and this is B1, this is B2. C, C1, C2, D, D1, D2, E, E1, E2, F, F1, F2. So I will add this entire marks. So is equal to sum of B2 colon F2. So B2 colon F2. So I will add this B2 colon F2. So close the bracket. You just enter this, you will get the total value. This is the sum operation is equal to sum of value 1 and value 2. First you need to mention the cell address. So now I will show you how to find the multiplication. 5 and 6. So here I need to find the multiplication operation here. I will use the formula is equal to what is the cell address? B2 asterisk and C2. Right? So you will get the answer 5 into 6 is 30. And if you want to find the average of these numbers, you can find. So I will take this 76. So now I will find the average value is equal to average. So what is the cell address? B2 colon C2. Close the bracket and enter. So average is 59.5. And now I will show you how to divide the numbers. So now I will show you how to divide the numbers. So here I will put 15 and 5. You have to divide this number. For dividing the numbers I will use so B2 backslash and C2. Just click on this. So 15 by 5 is equal to 3. So this is your formula in Excel sheet. And if you want to count the number of values in your sheet, so you can use the formula is equal to count from B2 colon D2. So we have three numbers 15, 5 and 3, right? So answer should come 3. Clear? This is for counting the values in Excel. So is equal to count of cell address from I have choose this B2 colon D2. So this is for counting the numbers. So like this, you can perform all the arithmetic operations in Excel spreadsheet. So you can use the formula or without using the formula also, you can find using this auto sum operation, you can find the sum, average, count numbers, maximum value and minimum value. So you can use this auto sum operation for finding the addition, subtraction, multiplication and division operations. So this is your basic formulas in Excel spreadsheet. In my next session, I will come with a new concept called built-in function and statistical functions in Excel. Thank you.